Hello ladies and welcome now to mission 17 of our Ace Combat 7 Sky Zenome. Let's play. Things are getting complicated. Civil War is several factions are fighting against each other. That's what we saw last mission. And a big twist uncovering that. Belk was behind the drones and the young Russian officers with the whole technology. That's why they wanted to start the war. And let's see how we're gonna proceed now in the midst of this confusion. And special thanks for Trustmaster for sponsoring my channel. Lots of good folks with, you know, cool gear that you can check it out. Like the headset that I'm wearing. Now, let's continue. The island we went to was supposed to have been secured by the ground forces. They hadn't gotten a handle on things by the time we got there. So now we were stuck in the middle of a half-assed campaign. My job was to get the planes ready for combat making repairs and handing them over to our troop of cons. Thing is, the enemy still had the hangars. The comms were still down, so none of us knew what the hell was going on. The last transmission I heard before everything went to shit was that some prisoners from an Ocean military penal unit rioted and managed to escape. They stole some jets and now they were flying around, taking out their former allies left and right. I wonder if any units like ours were out here, creeping around. Hearing the Ocean jets firing at each other overhead chipped away at morale. Since the radio was out, it was quiet. I liked it better that way. All I heard was the gunfire. Here we were, walking around carrying rifles. We were pilots, damn it. Friendly fire will probably kill us. You know things are desperate when the guards that used to lock us into solitary are now telling us it's better we all stick together. I guess they think our odds of surviving this war are better that way. After walking for miles across the battlefield, we came across the wreckage of a plane. Passenger, not military. I knew that rose. It was an erosion liaison plane. The guard's dogs smelled something and took off. They led us to a cliff. And the bodies. Today, I lost everything. When Osea attacked our capital, my father, a man who was never really suited to being the king, was killed. I was to be flown out of the war zone to safety, but the plane was shot down by rebels. The entire crew was killed in the crash. Soldiers appeared and one shot at me. My dog went after him and I shot him to pieces. He was my best friend. After all those speeches I gave about working together for peace, I thought everyone felt the same as I did. the soldier who shot at me knew I was the princess of Arugia. He was Arugian too. More soldiers have come. Now, there is no one left to protect me. I am so numb, I cannot move. I watch as one of their dogs approaches and sniffs mournfully at my dead friend. I wonder if it grieves for him as much as I do. I can barely think. I feel weaker by the minute. I don't know who these soldiers are with, but I managed to take a sip of the water they gave me. How long have you been here? Somehow, I muster the courage to answer the woman's question. I tell her I've been there three days. They gather around me with grim looks on their faces. What would they do if they knew I was the Erosion Princess? After searching the cockpit of the plane, the woman who spoke to me before came back to me. This is an air-to-ground tactical radio. It still works! I noticed she walked with a limp. She knelt down next to me and asked her companions to give me some food. Very softly, she said. You see, I used to listen to your broadcasts, your royal highness. 
just what did you see here? Wow, so the, 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 the princess appeared finally! And I'm surprised the other prisoners didn't know her. Okay, enough talk. Your opinions have all been taken into consideration. Beyond the seizure of Forbanti, which is important, and supporting the Erusian officer. At this point, I just don't know what our strategy is, or what our mission will be. Radio communication is still patchy for both the military and civilians. So we're getting zip from mission command about our orders. Still, with countless erosion forces in the area, it's too dangerous for us to stay around here waiting for a miracle. Now, regarding Count's suggestion to think about self-defense, uh, I think we should make a break for Tyler Island. It was a large ocean base before the start of the war. Count says his previous squadron took part in an operation to seize control of the island. It has the only base that will get us to the space elevator without refueling. It's also a transport facility for supply ships that provide drones and ammo for arsenal birds. For the Ocean forces that are looking to reclaim the space elevator, those are two great reasons in its favor. If everything went according to plan, the base may already be in allied hands when we get there. Though based on what Count told me about the island operation, it won't be easy to seize control. If the ground troops have managed to open the bridgehead, the transport route to Osea for supply ships should be available. So much at stake, I can't imagine Arusia just giving it up without a fight. Things could really have gone bad. Even if there are enemies left, they should be pretty easy to suppress. I just want to go home, man. Me too. With that look on your face, Trigger, I know exactly what you want. If Trigger's ready to kick ass, then so am I. Damn straight. We're with you, Trigger. It's decided then. Let's get all the aircraft and haul ass to Tyler Island. Although we can avoid the Arsenal Bird's anti-air network, there's still remnants from the Erusion forces. I want to get to the island without getting into any unnecessary combat. Pick a fast craft and fix it how you want. Pack for a long trip, but remember, if you drag your ass, you'll get left behind. Alright, I guess... That's where we get to join the the forces that the from our penal's unit that they were trying to get the base there. I like I like how they say the I look I know the look on your face trigger. Yeah, I guess so. I never shut my face in this game, but okay. Operation Reflux provides part of the forces October the tenth, two thousand nineteen. Tyler Islands, and the clouds seem to be massive if you look at the ones that are red. All right, let's get going. For this mission, again the fog, it's, it's just weird. Let's bring the F-15C with the pulse lasers. And let's put some parts as well. Bought a lot of new stuff. I always like stuff that increases agility and speed. And missile power. Email that's not necessary. Auto strafing machine gun. Nah, we don't need that kind of stuff. Alright, we should be good. Let's get going. Laser weapons for the first time. Alright, mission 17. Homeward. Yes, most people want to go back to home. October the 10th, 2019. This is Tango 2 3, pursued by multiple tanks and APCs. They'll all go down if we don't pull back the landing craft. And what? Abandoned Tango 2 3? Something's not right. Oh, the unknowns. I gotta ID them first. We don't first. have the firepower to assist you. You're on your own. Please, we need help. Wagtail is on the Ocean landing ship. What's going on? What did you say? Multiple boats is inbound. Damn it. Friend. Prepare for anti-air combat. This that is the Anlax Longcaster. The aircraft in your area belong to the LRSSG. Now my aircraft. A retreating vehicle is taking fire. Requesting assistance. Roger. ID complete. Updates on Tyler Island. Our forces are scattered and on the run. They're on the run? We were waiting for retreating units here to carry them 
What's so retreating? Forces. Take out any hostiles in their area. All right. Don't engage till targets are ID'd. The boots on the ground don't need more people shooting at them. Thanks. It's absolute chaos out there. The erosions are even starting to fight amongst themselves. Well, now we know what's going on. Oh, well, you can see the factions they belong to. We can let the, the enemies fight against themselves. Oh, containers. Drones. Looks like they have the mass driver, a facility to launch things into space. The space center here. For friendlies, friendlies, right? It's the Ocean military. Don't they know they're on the same side? We'll be firing at each other. This is AWACS Longcaster. We're uploading the latest ID data. Check your tap drummer. There you go. I really like the lasers, they are quite effective. Strutter 1, Fox 2. The rebels are here. The first one go by and detonate on the second. An explosion inside! Continue the countdown. The enemy is not stupid. We're having a supply shutdown. Do the countdown! There's still one arsenal bird left. If we can bring them to the bomb, then Arusia will have a fighting chance. Arsenal bird with bombs? We can hit one with the lasers. All aircraft, search every nook of the island. We're not leaving anyone behind. Bring the anti-tank missile. Hit that heavy armor at the front line. Good stuff. There you go. Echo 13. All hostiles are down. Understood. This is our last chance. We'll see how far we can go. It's ID, there's still some targets in the middle. We can't even run. The enemy will shoot us in the back. They're friends or enemies. We're taking fire from multiple enemy tanks. I was a little bit hesitant to shoot down the helicopter, but it turned out to be an enemy in the end. I don't suppose we have helicopters, right? Strutter yeah. One. 
We've identified the unknown targets. I'm on my target's tail. Close. All right, let's check those bogies before they arrive. And here's this mass driver, that's how they used to launch things into space. Or in the air as well. That's what they use in Ace Combat 5. Right, let's ID. Oh. Count's prophecy has come true. Take out all bombers. Or they'll flatten our allies. Plenty of civilian casualties as well. Precision bombing is impossible in these conditions. I'm pretty sure that was an enemy, okay? United at last. We did it. Okay, scrap queen. Send us the target coordinates. I'm thinking about how I do that. Don't you have a laser target indicator? Why would she? Save them. Come 
Come on, come on. The mess driver. Holy. We gotta go after them? I suppose so. No, no, no. They are splitting themselves. That's not good. If we're too close, we'll get caught up in the explosion. The target's using cloud cover to hide itself. Don't worry, we know where it's heading. It's good I brought in the lasers. Strata one, target acquired. Perfect weapon for this. Whoa! Supply ships out there. Hurry up and shoot the one down. The supply ships are too far away. We'll never catch them at this rate. We've recalculated the remaining time. 90 seconds to the enemy's air defense network. Don't lose them. Don't overshoot. 60 seconds remain. There it is. Gotta fire from far. Fireworks. This thing had any windows, we could have seen it for ourselves. Nice work, team. All right, we got the two of them. Who's the girl that ran at the tanks with the smoke canister? A few more crazies like her, and life down there may have been a tad bit easier. What do you think would have happened to those refugees if you hadn't intervened? The princess saw what happened. You little kids. That's why I like the sky. You don't have to see those types of things. Does this mean we're that much closer to ending the war? No, we just basically prevented it from going on forever. Count's right. We have no choice but to return to our original base. Our base that is nearly out of food and fuel. We need to do something. Yes. Now you have the princess, though. You can tell her, I don't know, make a speech. She's very charismatic. Tell people to stand down. End this whole, this whole war. Oh, let's see what's gonna happen next. Hopefully we'll get some supplies, too. And uh, debriefing? I guess we don't have cutscenes after a mission, do we? Good. Take a seat. Everyone's here. All right. Good work in sinking the supply ships, not to mention saving the refugees. However, we're in no position to start celebrating. Even the commander here is starting to fray from the stress. Can't say I blame him. Now, Tyler Island is in a state of complete anarchy. This base isn't safe either. 
The faces you see around you are the only friends we've got. Take a good look. That sucks. Rank A, okay, I did all right. That was it, that was mission 17, boy oh boy. We're getting further into the game and things are just confusing with this different factions fighting each self, each them, themselves. But yeah, let's see what happens next. It's good that I brought in the lasers this time, they came in pretty handy. But yeah, let me know what you thought about this mission, leave your comments down below, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already, and check my friends at Trustmaster. They are sponsoring my channel, they have some pretty cool gear that you can pick it up, like the same that I use, like this headset that is officially licensed by the US Air Force. Comes in very handy and looks cool, right? But that is it, hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.